Hey everyone, Joe here, and this is my friend Drew Skip. So today we are going to give you a studio tour, a studio tour of his studio, and there are many interesting things around the studios. Oh, by the way, I'm supposed to introduce you. So, ah uh, yeah, <laughs> my name is Andrew, and I'm a freelance illustrator. I do picture books, comics, yeah, illustrations for advertising agencies and clients. He's an illustrator based here in Singapore. Okay, yeah. let's go through. Let's look at all the different corners of the room. Okay. Such as this cabinet here. I didn't clean this up. And that's the view outside his studio. Now this studio used to be very different. There used to be a big wooden desk in the middle, which I will talk about later. But let's just take a look at what's on the cabinet. Why is there a photo of Oh, Who's yeah. This so, so this cabinet belongs to my wife and oh. my daughter, and my daughter loves Chris Hemsworth. Oh, she wants yeah. to marry him, but I told her that he's already taken, <laughs> and he has kids. Yeah, I was wondering why is there a photo of yeah, someone so, else, but not you? <laughs> yeah, it used to be beside her bed, so it's the first thing that she sees. Oh, okay, in the so this is actually not your art, art corner. No, no, but I made this Spider Man from IKEA. Oh, this is the wooden... Yeah, the wooden thing. And wooden last figure. time when I was single, I had lots of time, so I just painted him Spider-Man, when you can see. At one time, this was my daughter's childhood toy. She would just bring it, bring oh. him out to go ice cream shop and everything. But he's very useful. I see. So this part is where I published uh, the Ollie comics and I it's self-published. So, um, yeah, these are the ones that are still in the packaging and when people order them, then I get a fresh one from here and I mail it to them. So this one was actually a... Uh, I was going to put it on my desk. So this is a... You can see it's an it's a old drawer. So I made it into a, a uh, easel. It's a bit flimsy, but it works. But somehow I don't use it very often, so I may, may throw it away. This is uh, Watson from Sherlock Sam. It's a Lego Watson. Oh. Sherlock Sam, by the way, is a children's book here in Singapore. Yeah, so I illustrate that. This is a Millennium Falcon since um, when I was a very small kid. Where's your old wooden desk? The one that is very big. Oh, the old wooden desk that used to fill the whole room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it got, it got moldy. Why <laughs> so, did it get moldy? Because, uh, well, Singapore is quite humid and and this room somehow gets a lot of condensation from the yeah due, due to the floor uh, and therefore I had to throw away all the old wooden desks so you were but I got this new wood, new desk which is the ever desk so it can go up and down so that I'm not always sitting all the time apparently it helps you to live longer I can set it to every half an hour so uh, I can stand, sit down every half yeah. an hour I stand up yeah, that's apparently good. it helps that's good is it very stable yeah, it does. It's quite stable. Of course, I don't want to spoil the, spoil the surface, so I just put in this artboard. Oh. So I made this pencil sharpener because the pencil sharpener used to be part of the Drewscape logo. What? Is, this is a pencil sharpener? No, no. <laughs> oh, it's a, so first, I just it's used, a prop. It's a prop. I have two printers. This one's an inkjet and this one is a laser print. Uh, laser print. And if you notice here, if you notice here, this is a modified inkjet printer. I think mm. I can promote it because I'm quite pleased with this <laughs> store. Okay. So this one, uh, if you you can bring your own printer or you can buy it from them and they will, they will renovate it. your inkjet printer. So pretty much they'll screw on this attachment oh. which has this liquid ink mm -hmm. and it'll feed directly into the cartridges. Actually over 10 years of using it. I still couldn't finish the ink. But that's because you don't print that often, is it? No, actually I just can print as much as I want. Yeah. So this is my second one. Okay, so the first one I gave it to my, my in-laws uh -huh. and it, it's still not finished. What's this? Is this a bug or a slug? This one is a, uh, is a toy that my relative... Oh, my baby's crying. This is my relative gave to Ollie when she was small. Oh. So the thing is the... The leather covering had degraded, so this is I used the old shirt and I sewed it using my sewing skills <laughs> and I had to cover it. Oh, okay. so you can see. <laughs> okay. So oh, my old t-shirt. <laughs> so sewing skills are really that's what we learned today. Sewing skills are very important. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, 
Andrew is starting to post more regularly on his YouTube channel, yeah. which I will link to in the video description below. Oh, these are these are his sketchbooks. This yes. is the sketchbook drawer. Okay, yeah. So this is these are all the current uh, unfilled notebooks and sketchbooks. So if there are still blank pages, they they appear here. So oh, and you can see there's a lot of experimentation. A lot of like, I like, see this was done on the jelly print. <laughs> the jelly oh, print. Okay. And this is like done on the jelly print too, using the uh, printout from the scanner, right, from oh. the printer here. So uh, that's from the jelly print too. Oh, okay. Well. So you can just put a plant there and then print it. You should definitely make like some sketchbook tour videos because these are very good. You could. There are many people. Wow, who do is it. that yeah. is that like color pencil or crayon acrylic oh this one is while doing a picture book project i need to do a test drawing so to see where the style works before i actually do the rest of the okay this, this is, is acrylic this acrylic is a acrylic and cutouts so oh. i just you know this this girl here is also cut out yeah so it's kind of like the old it's kind of like an analog way of doing layers in photoshop oh okay so instead of doing layers in photoshop you do layers on paper Oh, okay. So you just draw the background, then draw the character separately, paste it. And yeah. you don't, if you draw it wrongly, just draw the character again, then paste it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a somewhat 3D quality to it. Yeah. yeah this, the, the, edge, the shadow edge is actually quite hard to replicate it, digitally. Yeah, so like a real shadow. Yeah. So these are all... Wow, this is... There are so many pages. And you have so many sketchbooks. You should make like one sketchbook tour video for each sketchbook. <laughs> Yes, and you will have enough content for. To see that. And you have enough content for. So these are the, the present year. sketchbooks. Wow, that's yeah. a lot. So that's whether bad. good or bad, uh, it appears here. Yeah, I mean, not all of them are amazing, but it's where I practice, right? So see, this is I drew it, then Oli drew me. So. Oh, this is good. Yeah. So that's another jelly print I was trying out. Another jelly print. <laughs> and I'm just trying out different ways. Wow, there are so drawing. many. Yeah. Definitely make some sketchbook tour videos because there is a lot of interesting stuff inside. Really? Okay, so this is yeah. this is the sketchbook part. And why I put it in this this netting is because I have a one-year-old kid and he'll grab things. Uh. So with this, he cannot grab my sketchbooks. Yeah. And but this one, this is all my art books. Um, art books that I learn from, that I like learning from, and of course he can grab these. So I make them really tight, so it's harder for him to pull out. For example, this is like a Kent Williams Wolverine comic. So it's drawn differently from a regular mainstream comic. Uh, acrylic paints. You know what acrylic paints are? There's uh, fountain pens. Vintage ones, yeah. What's it's a vintage fountain pen? Vintage pen. Is it just old pen? This pen like can be about hundred years old. This pen looks old. very familiar. This, these are these two are Waterman fifty twos. Yeah, this one's another eyedropper pen. I like eyedroppers because vintage fountain pens usually have a sack inside, mm -hmm. and if you use waterproof ink, usually the sack degrades, or you know, it just yeah degrades. But eyedropper, the ink just goes there, there's no set to degrade, so you, so it's actually quite good Long for durable. artists. You can use waterproof ink in these. Yeah. So that's why I like eyedroppers. Except that um, towards the end when the ink gets lower, they tend to burp ink. Oh, okay. So that's the only downside. I reviewed on Parker Blocks before. And Chinese ink, Sumi ink, calligraphy ink, eco line ink, fountain pen inks and Indian ink. And even food coloring. <laughs> you can paint it. Yeah, there's so many ways to have inks. I mean, so many, so many inks to play with. Materials. So raw craft materials are raw materials. I can make stuff with uh, stuff to sew and make because I I learned sewing. So this is everything. Tools. Everything has to do with stamping. Oh, okay. And you can see this is a little print. I haven't even opened this. Stamps have a nice quality to them when you stamp them on paper. Wow. Uh, these are these are the lathe tools. Lathe. 
the lathe tools are it's more like hardware tools so this is the lathe machine Whoa. and this is where if you have heard of the black noodle <laughs> <laughs> there, there, it's that a people want to buy, but it's a limited edition pen. Yeah, I know, Paka, you bought one, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I, I don't make them anymore. <laughs> Didn't have time. Uh, so this machine one. is now just relegated as a display set. No, no, I still make. I make stuff. For example, I made this. So this is made with Delrin. So I oh. make Delrin rod. I can drill a hole. I can make threads. Can cut them up so you can see that um, you can open up and then I can switch the nibs so this one's a G nib one is a hunt 101 nib oh. imperial nib and so it's a dip pen and so if, I, if I'm out drawing I can, can draw with a dip pen and then if I need to rush off I can just close it even though there's ink on it oh, okay. and I keep it so this is this is if I want to make a video of my drawing uh, this thing would go over my desk nicely so I can put my phone nicely here and then I can just film oh this one is the Nufi keyboard I think why do you get a keyboard without any function keys really there are no function keys oh, really? what is this is this is this still working still works I'm pretty sure this sleeve is, was made by you right yes this sleeve was made by me and it even has padding inside so that's the usefulness of so I, of taking a sewing class <laughs> so this sewing class is um, is by it's called is by this company called so fun so fun has a bag making course as the beginner course and i think during the course you learn to make a few bags but how do you like do you need any machinery to make this yeah um i use my wife's sewing machine well, yeah. let's look at some of the tools that you may or may not use <laughs> this one is a wooden wall that i got the carpenter to put there so it's like a work wall uh, you can see you can hang guitars and all these things. These are things that I always lose on my desk. Oh, when yeah. I want to use them, I can't find them. So I thought if I display them here and label them, I can always put back, put them back in the same place and they won't get lost. This is for the jelly jelly print. Oh. Or when I make mono prints, mono prints have a really nice quality. Oh, this okay. is a squeegee for the mono wow, print you as well. Definitely make, like, this is. For uh, I made this, I just, I like cutting wood. You should definitely make this videos is for, on how to use all this. This is for, well. Cleaning the blackboard. This is, this is not a blackboard, this is just a wall that has dark paint, matte, dark matte paint. But you write on it. I write on it. For example, this is my schedule, like maybe I want to post one time. This is one week. But your week only has four days. No, no, there's four things to do during the week. <laughs> Draw a comic page, do a blog post, do a video, and maybe create a product, oh, hopefully okay. on like Redbubble or oh. Etsy. How about, uh, how about all this? These days is also the schedule, like ideas of what to do for my blog post. So I put them down and this is the progress. Like for example, this is the outline. Then after that, have I collected the images? Have I written the blog post and then is it ready to publish and this is the YouTube ideas and it's like the different stages and so last time I used to display all my pens on my table because I thought that I'll use them more if if I see them but after a while they, they just became a blind spot and actually they distract me rather than make me focus on my work so now I hide all my pens in these things but so this one these are all color pencils oh, and pencils. Okay. My poster colors and gouache and watercolors. Gel pens and this one markers. And this one is new color chalk, acrylic gouache, pastels. This is is uh, just water because oh. when you are paint watercolor, oh, acrylic okay. or gouache, you need watercolor and then you need to wash your brush. Okay. This is for water. This it's is an old shampoo thing. bottle. Then I squeeze this bottle on top so that it doesn't gush out. So these are my dip bottles instead of carrying a uh, ink bottle out. So this is C for Chinese ink and T for talents drawing ink. Yeah. Ink. So this is actually a cap from a from to a to prevent old the drink. ink from yeah from, so that it doesn't top off. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah. yeah this one my friend made it. It's from a, a whiskey bottle or something. Oh. Then you just put epoxy glue in it. So this is the photo box where 
if you put it put like sketchbooks inside then you can photograph them from the top oh so you have very even lighting so it's a, shadow. it's a sketchbook photographing why don't you just scan your sketchbooks um first of all right now my scanner is not working oh <laughs> somehow affinity photo <laughs> Yeah, somehow, yeah, but this also um, when I take photos with my phone or uh, SLR camera, it's much faster. Oh, okay. And also, it, somehow it looks better, especially when you're photographing watercolor. Somehow, when I do a scanner, the, the paper doesn't come out, texture doesn't come out right. But when I photograph it, texture comes out nice. This is my daughter's table. Oh, you can that's see that. Nice. Okay, that's I'm nice. I'm organizing her too, so she has lots of stuff. She has her art materials and jelly prints. Okay. <laughs> oh, this one has a mono print. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is one of the the projects that I did recently for NHB National Heritage Board. So this is this is um, they have to collect stamps from different museums. Oh, are these all drawn by you? Yeah, these are drawn by me, oh. and it was quite fun to do. And the client was really nice too, so... The client is NHP. Yeah, the NHP. So yeah, that's nice. recent. What is this you have by the side of the window? Oh, so I, I, I keep my paints facing the, the window so that it'll keep mold from growing because I think the sunlight and the heat from the sun will, will prevent mold from growing. Oh, but the colors will lose their... Well, color you will yeah I don't because the, know. some I of the know. colors are not light fast dang <laughs> okay I'll so take you have to cover you have to cover you can put them like that but you have to cover up the box okay. so that the box can still be hot oh but the paint will not be exposed to light oh, okay thanks for the tip Paka. that's very useful i'll cover it uh, these are also these are also paints these are actually new color new yeah. color crayons that i meshed up and made wow. it like that. Okay. Because these are very old, they're like maybe 40 years old. Wow. <laughs> I got it when I was a kid. I yeah. didn't know how to use them. Some of these can grow more very quickly, like yeah. within a week. But no more right now. Yeah, because you have it by the side of the window. Yeah. I also have my paint by the side of the window and I hang my cameras by the side of the window as well. Really? Cameras? Oh, you don't put them in the... No, in a dry I, box. I don't have a dry box, so I hang them by the side of the window. Under shade, of course. What's this? See, these are timers, so these help me to work. For example, if I need to sit at my desk and work for 20 minutes, then I'll set for 20 minutes. Oh. Okay. And then, so that prevents me from being distracted. So this is the studio tour of Drew Scape's studio. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you have any questions regarding any of the tools that, you, that he has on the wall or in his shelves, do ask him in the comment section below. See you guys in the next video. Bye.